This is Michael Orl, Editor-in-Chief of MobileBurn.com and AndroidAuthority.com. And today I'm going to give you a quick look at this new Dolphin browser for the Motorola Droid. Dolphin, unlike the default Droid browser, which is based on uh, the Google HTML5 browser, supports multi-touch controls. So you can see we can do multi-touch zooming with our fingers. And it gets rid of the old-style push zoom controls found on the uh, default browser. There's more to it than just the uh, multi-touch zoom control though. You'll notice that we have a series of menus here and it supports multiple windows. So we can switch back and forth with a live thumbnail view of the multiple windows. I'm going to switch over to this here. And you can see we can scroll around nicely. Everything looks pretty good. You'll notice though in the corner there's a little hand indicator here. If I pull that up it brings up a gesture area that I can use to put in other controls. I just put in the back control. And this happens to be pulling up another version, another page on the android.com site. And I go back one further. And we go back to Android Authority. You can put in all sorts of different gestures, like I defined one for stop. And if I pull up right here, you can see the list of all the gestures that are possible, including some of the ones that are already pre-done. Another really nice feature is the ability to select text. You go down here in the menu, notice that you can now use your finger to select text and it's automatically copied into the clipboard which is really handy. Another major feature of the browser is tabbed browsing. Now instead of double tapping on the screen causing the zoom control to activate, Double tapping brings up the tab controls on the Dolphin browser. Now you can see the user interface needs a lot of work yet. Um, it's kind of clunky looking. Things aren't lining up the way they're supposed to. But in general, it's working. And like all browsers, Dolphin supports bookmarks. And it has other features like sharing, which is quite nice. So you can quickly share a URL with any of a number of different sites and systems. One thing that's very impressive with the browser is the way that it reflows text when you change zoom levels. You notice you know, the text is all zoom float around the ads right here. If I zoom in tighter, though, it reflows intelligently so I can still read it at the zoom level I'm using. Zoom out a bit more though and you'll see it reflow around the ad again, which is really impressive. Not something we haven't seen before, but some rendering issues. You can see on this YouTube video, it's a embedded, embedded flash video that doesn't come up right. Um, if you reload the page, it'll look right, but um, there's no embedded flash anyway. It's just support for using the external YouTube client. But, you know, there's still some minor rendering problems like that, but so far nothing I've seen that really affects or impacts the way you use it. Um, again, UI glitches and things like that, but, you know, really pretty cool system overall. Just needs a little bit of work. go through some of the settings on the browser. You can see there'll be themes available in the future. Uh, don't appear to be any right now. You can edit the gestures as I've um, shown you. You can change where the gesture control shows up. Also an interesting thing, you'll notice in the notification area there's a couple of RSS icons. This comes from the browser. Every time you browse to a new site that has an RSS feed, it offers to add it to your Google Reader account. Now, um, unfortunately, it does this every time even if you, you know, turn it down. So probably best to turn off that feature right now. So you have my quick look at the Dolphin web browser for the Motorola Droid. Very nice piece of software. It's still in progress. It still needs some tweaks and things like that, but you can see it's got an awful lot of promise uh, and does a lot of things that the default browser just doesn't support. So for now, I'm Michael Orl for MobileBurn.com and AndroidAuthority.com.